in spite of a sloppy start, in spite of the refs just no calls on everything, but apparently we can't play defense because it's always a foul. Despite the fans being really involved in just trying to psych us out on the free throw line, in spite of everything that went wrong in tonight's game, the Dallas Mavericks delivered. In the clutch moments, Dante Exum hit a mean last second shot to just ice the game. It wasn't a buzzer beater, it wasn't really last minute, there was about 30 some seconds left, but that shot was huge. That iced the game, it was over. Go home, ladies and gentlemen, you're not lighting the beam tonight. As a matter of fact, light the horse. You might as well just find a horse and light it, because the Dallas Mavericks did not come come to play we came to win and that's what happened today again despite the bad defense despite the shots not falling and almost everybody just the shot the ball looked like it weighed 30 pounds the way that no one could get a shot at least consistently right but it didn't matter because the only thing that mattered is the Dallas Mavericks got a dub. In back-to-back -back games against the San Antonio, I'm sorry, against the Sacramento Kings, the Dallas Mavericks reigned supreme in an ugly fashion that didn't even I don't care how ugly it looked. The dub was here, and we're going to talk about it. How's it going, everybody? My name is Marcel Martin. This is Mavericks Digest, and we are reacting to tonight's crazy, just wonderful, wild game, a winner against the Sacramento Kings in a game where we just destroyed them just about two nights ago in, what, like 30 plus points where our defense was locked in. Derek Lively was just locking down Sabonis. Daniel Gafford was getting blocks. Tim Hardaway Jr. and P.J. Washington were raining down threes, and that game looked like a hey. The Dallas Mavericks are real, the Dallas Mavericks are here, and no one can stop us. But we all know what happens. Teams start to start to get wise on what's actually happening. And the Sacramento Kings, they 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 definitely came prepared because from the start of the game, it just did not look good for the guys. The shot was not falling. They were playing swarming physical defense that the refs allowed them to play. But everything on us, every little thing we do was a foul. There was a foul in the, I want to say it was a third quarter on Derrick Jones Jr. The man didn't even touch the Aaron Fox and they blew the whistle. It was a shooting foul. It was crazy. But there was one call. I can't really remember the play because the game was just crazy from start to finish. But there was one call where Jason Kidd reviewed it, you know, coach's challenge. And he was successful because despite what people say about Jason Kidd, that, oh, he's just standing there watching the game. Well, you got to watch the game to be able to know when the refs make a bad call because the man has only ever failed on one coach's challenge all season. So props to Jason Kidd. And I know there was moments in this game where even I was on my couch yelling, Jason Kidd, call a timeout. Get him off the court. Put him back in. I was I was playing coach from the I'm, I'm sorry I was playing coach from the couch all night but there's a reason why I'm not the coach there's a reason why Jason Kidd is here and I put out a vid before this but before this video I put out a video before the game talking about you know Jason Kidd we should bring him back we should extend him we are in a great time to win now and the one thing we need is a coach that the players are familiar with and a lot of people were in the comments saying no he needs to get us to the finals first or no I think he's kind of burned too many bridges he he just watches the game, doesn't make a lot of in-game rotations and changes. But tonight, we trusted the team. And we made sure everything was hitting whenever we needed them to hit. And even though it really wasn't pretty, and I understand that, when it mattered, when the first half got ugly, when the third quarter, we really didn't make any headway. I think we went to the fourth quarter, still down by 9 or 10 points that fourth quarter. There's a reason why this Dallas Mavericks team is the most clutch team in the league, and we proved it tonight in front of everybody, in front of that whole stadium in, San, in Sacramento. I keep saying San Antonio, but in Sacramento, we let it be known. The Dallas Mavericks are here. Ain't no playing, baby. We are in the playoffs. We are in that sixth seed, and because the Suns also lost tonight, we are securely in that sixth seed, and for the next nine games, all we got to do is bring in some dubs. But let's go over the box score real quick, guys. P.J. Washington had seven points. He had two blocks, one steal, two assists, and six rebounds. He was two of eight from three, two of ten from the floor. It wasn't his best night, but he did play good defense and got a lot of rebounds, especially when we needed him. Derrick Jones Jr. had seven points, one assist, one rebound, but don't let that fool you. He was a plus four. He was playing excellent defense. Daniel Gafford, the landlord, was having a little bit of a struggle collecting his rent tonight. But despite that, he had six points. He was a plus four, had three blocks, one steal, and seven rebounds, with two of them being offensive rebounds. And Kyrie, in Kai, we trust, who didn't miss a single shot of his 14 points in the fourth quarter, had 30 points, was a plus eight, had two assists, three rebounds, and was making it happen. The man was three of five from the, from the three-point line. And Luka Doncic had 26 points, was a plus six, had two steals, 
12 assists and 9 rebounds. And I know he's in the little turnover box. He had 5 turnovers. But you have to understand that Luka Doncic is dealing with a weird Achilles, whatever soreness that he's got going on. And there was a moment in the game going into halftime. We thought Luka was down. We thought he was out. He had a nasty hit. He went down. He was limping. It, it just did not look good. And then he was bleeding from one of his knees. They had to tape it up. I was, I was like, it's over. We're cooked. But you should never, ever doubt this Dallas Mavericks team. And I'm not even done, man. Off the bench, Maxi Kleba. And I got to give my man props. I've been hard on him. He had six points. He was a plus eight. He had two assists, two, re two rebounds. But he didn't miss a single shot. My man was two or two from three, two or two from the field. He was doing everything that we asked of him. He was playing excellent defense in only 15 minutes. He delivered. Tim Hardaway Jr. had five points, one assist, two rebounds. He was one of four from three, one of seven from the floor. He was contributing in his own way, I guess. But Derek Lively, the rookie, off the bench. 12 points, one block, two assists, nine rebounds. And Dante X him. Dante's Inferno had eight points. Had two assists, three rebounds. He was two of five from three. With one of those threes being the clutch. Game-winning three to get us ahead. We were tied 103-103. But that three is what got us to, into the lead in the last 30 seconds to win the game. And I know I don't show a lot of game footage here. But I'm going to show you what that shot looks like for those at home that may not be able to watch the game. So check this out. Oh, I'm all over the place. And that's all it was, ladies and gentlemen. After that, it was history. The shot fell. The team knew how to close out with the last 30-some seconds. You know, foul here, don't foul here, hit our free throws, and it was over. And it was, and it was, it wasn't, it was beautiful, but it wasn't pretty, if that makes sense. It was beautiful because the other night against the Sacramento Kings, we played arguably our best basketball all season. And what happens when we play our best? We still get the dub. Tonight, you could, you could argue it was bad. Maybe our worst if you really want to be dramatic, but it wasn't good. But what happens when we still don't play well? We still get the dub. And the Dallas Mavericks, again, and I've said it so many times, they know how to win games. They know how, if this isn't working, try this. If that isn't working, try that. We are no longer a one-dimensional team. We are a team that knows on the fly what needs to change, who we need to put in. And the fact that Dante Exum, where before that three, missed like three straight threes wide open. But Kyrie said, nah. You gonna trust me? I'm gonna trust you. Got him that shot. Got him, the, got him a great wide open look. And Dante took his time, took that shot, and y'all saw the video, iced it, and that was game. And I guess we got to go over the Sacramento Kings box score, I guess, if we really have to. But Sabonis had 13 points, 1 steal, 10 assists, and 12 rebounds, where if we're, if we're being honest, those 10 assists are little handoffs, but whatever. Harrison Barnes had a little revenge game, I guess, against us, but it wasn't enough. He had 20 points, 2 assists, and 6 rebounds. Uh, Keegan Murray had 12 points. Had five fouls, one block, one assist, and seven rebounds. De'Aaron Fox with 23 points, three steals, five assists, six rebounds. And Ellis finished with 16 points, had two turnovers, three steals, one assist, and six rebounds. It was a little bit of help off the bench, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It was a moment in this game where it felt like the, the Sacramento Kings couldn't miss a single shot. Their three just kept falling but when you look at the box score we were both pretty much neck and neck with threes if not we both made the same amount of threes and it may also like we were foul merchants because i'll throw the box score back up we were what was that 22 of 23 from the free throw line but i'm sorry 22 of 33 from the free throw line but i mean if you want to keep fouling us we're gonna keep going to the line we're gonna keep shooting and uh, yeah you can say oh if they hit more free throws we would have won by more i don't care if i win by one point i don't care if somehow we win by half a point the dallas mavericks won Wipe your hands with it. We move on. We see the Houston Rockets on Sunday. They're on an 11-game winning streak. I like to believe this should be an easy dub for us. But with how this team looks right now, where even when we're down and they're out, and it doesn't look pretty, we still find ways to win. This Dallas Mavericks team is ready for the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't believe it, you need to believe it now. We have the pieces. Jason Kidd is doing a good job as a coach. And I know I've been hard on Jason Kidd, but you know what? We need to have, have faith and have trust in Jason Kidd. Because Jason Kidd... Obviously, we're just fans. It's not like he watches any of our videos, right? But if you're going to just hate and be hard on a guy, 
how are you going to expect him to, to do good if you're not even happy for him? So let's give Jason Kidd his props. Let's let's uplift Jason Kidd and just hope that he actually improves and, and can continue to coach well in the playoffs. Let's uplift Tim Hardaway Jr. and hope that three-point shot comes back. Let's uplift the whole team because it's going to take every single person on this team from the starters to the bench because this playoffs is going to be magical. You, hear, you heard it here first. We're going as far as this team can take us. I know in the past few years, it felt like we're going as far as Luka can take us. But no, the Dallas Mavericks are a complete team, and we're going as far as this team will take us. And before we end this video, because I always seem to forget, we got to go through the segment. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And the good is I'm giving that to the team. Just being able to come together to rally in the clutch moments because I thought in, out of out of the halftime in the third quarter, maybe we'd come back and we really just, just lock this thing down. The third quarter, more or less, we were just trying to stay in the game. The fourth quarter where we were down by 9 or 10 points, where in, in this game we were down by as much as 15 and still fought back. So for the good, I got to give it to the Dallas Mavericks team as a whole for just staying in the game, not, not letting it get you down, not holding your head down, but holding your head high. Shout out to the Dallas Mavericks for that. The bad would just have to be our defense. And even though we got the win, we still got to, there's still criticism to be handed out. And the defense just wasn't that good on the perimeter. There was a few times where Daniel Gafford just wouldn't put his hands up whenever smaller guards attacked him with a little floater. They just went right over him like, bro, put your hands up. The defense can be better and, and, and we know it can be better. But the ugly, I have to give the ugly to the refs. Because y'all were egregious. And yes, we went to the line, what, we were 22 or 33, I get it. So you can say, oh, but they we were calling it in your favor. But there were so many no calls. There were so many ticky-tacky fouls that they were calling that it didn't even feel like we were going to the line that much. The refs, y'all were ugly. The Sacramento Kings, y'all were ugly. That four-letter word, the Dallas Mavericks got it. What's that word? Aura. And we're here, baby. It's legit. And man, I'm sorry I couldn't go live. I had a little watch party at the crib. My friends had just left so I could drop this video. It was crazy. My apartment was jumping. And I knew if I was live, I'd probably have lost my voice because I was yelling and screaming. But we're here. We got the dub. We're on a six-game win streak. And we see the Houston Rockets on Sunday where I will be going live because I don't want to miss another single Mavericks game with you guys. I want to be there with you through the highs and the lows because we're here. We're a family. MFFL. Mavericks Digest fam. We all here. So... Thank you for making this far to the video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a single thing that we do. Check out our Twitter and our Discord in the link description below. Consider being a channel member to enter in a chance to win a free jersey. But until next time, guys, take care. And in Kai, we trust.